first at four, a tragic story out of Volusia County where a dad who tried to get his son help is now dead after an apparent murder-suicide in Deltona. West News' Pamela Cohn spoke with a mental health expert who says oftentimes this is a result of not seeing the warning signs of mental illness or catching them too late. It was only a week ago neighbor Kathy Kane says she met her new neighbors. I walked over there to introduce myself and welcome them to the neighborhood. Little did she know, a few days later, the two of them would be found dead in their home. I can't believe what Travis did, you know, because Dan was such a, he seems such a nice man. Deputies say 34-year-old Travis DeMarco shot his dad and then killed himself in an apparent murder-suicide. Detectives say Travis had been dealing with mental health issues. They even say he was diagnosed with a serious condition earlier this year. Licensed mental health counselor Zenovia Proctor says without knowing the specifics of the case, it's hard to know what led to this. It could have been completely intentional. It could have been unintentional. It could have been in crisis. It could have been because of trauma history. It could have been no trauma history. It could be um, a chemical imbalance. It could be so many things. Deputies say Travis' father was aware he was struggling mentally and that Travis was getting treatment and on medications. Proctor says sometimes even that's not enough. Because there are signs and there are not signs. And so really not taking on that. But even as I hear you saying it now, we will always have the questions of why, what happened, what could have been done differently. And I think that's part of the community support that needs to come next. Proctor adds, if someone says they're in distress, believe them. It's not just a cry for attention or a lot of the things that we say, believe it the first time. If they don't tell you they're suffering, but you can clearly see it, ask. It's important to have the tough conversations. Reporting in Daltona, Pamela Combe, WASH 2 News. Now, there are several resources available, but right at your fingertips is the 988 number for the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline.